Um, retro jerseys. Collars are back, boys. Yes. I can't believe in today's age of professionalism that they put collars on jerseys. It's commercial department overtaking the footy department. It can't work. Why would you have extra material to be grabbed by? Mm. How ridiculous. Didn't you make the origin jumpers like skin, skin tight? Skin yeah. tight. Mm. As tight as you get. They, they brought in the jerseys, made them go down three sizes and then cut them smaller. And then the first shot is James Tedesco going through in Melbourne, people just scratching at his jersey. Mm. So we asked the players their favourite retro jerseys. Here's some of the responses. <laughs> I think it was a Roosters jersey back in the day. Might have been like the 02 one, but you know how all the supporters wear it? It's like made of the thick material. It's made of the cotton. Also had the Newcastle jerseys of, I don't know what year, maybe 2006 and 7. The, they had a full red home kit and a full blue away kit with the collars. Joey was still playing, so. Uh, I thought I would school um, Blues jersey as well with the, with the Wizards, the sponsor. I think that was when. 2005, Joey's game back, I think he was wearing that jersey. Mine wants to be the Warriors. I was a big Warriors supporter growing up, so. Um, there was one uh, that had like moldy patterns, and it was, I think it was grey or silver. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I had one of those ones. So. Do you know you're getting old when you don't, you don't even think of those jerseys as retro? Some of the ones they Jackson bought. Hastings talking about that. Red jersey. Yeah. So it was red with red shorts mm. and I red socks. It, yeah. We used to call it the blood clot. <laughs> Hated it. You should have had your Because red hair. the shorts were a really bad cut. It made my ass look even <laughs> bigger. Now, we've, we've asked you guys for your favourites. Freddie? Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. If you're a young bloke coming through in the 80s and love footy, Steve Rogers was just so cool. And I used to love the jerseys that had the three colours. I loved the mm -hmm. Sharks and I loved the Roosters. Horry Hastings is a real favourite. That's Look a great at that. photo. Yeah, it's colours. And what about the three-quarter sleeve? You don't see the three-quarter no. sleeve anymore. Mate, we used to, in origin, get there. And because the jerseys were all massively oversized, we'd be cutting the cutting. sleeve off <laughs> the jer origin jerseys before the game with the scissors. As you get strapped, you say, can I borrow your scissors? <laughs> you cut the sleeve off the jersey before you ran out. Oh, yeah, this is mine. Ellery Hunley. In the late 80s, everyone at St. Patrick's in Cessnock wanted a number three Ellery jersey. There was only one kid at school who had it. And with the big, had the really big tiger. Remember he when he burst onto the scene over here? He was when he played in that year. Was that 88? Oh. I played him in my There's first game. There's Freddie's old. There's your old school jerseys. They were good jerseys. They were crackers. The, the Dardo uniforms. All sorts. I've got to say, there's nothing like putting an Australian jersey on. Mm. That's Australian a good jersey. jersey was How good's that run. jersey? Yeah. When you see the retro City Ford one at the that, that yeah, that whole picture there was awesome. The Australian jerseys. Yeah. That gives you the best feeling. And look at that one, the Wizard. Can I just tell Clubland? The mm. simpler, the better. Mm. The simpler. The better. Mm. What's the most iconic rugby league or rugby union jersey in the world? All Blacks. Mm. Oh, look at, oh, look at Joey. I had the mumps that day. <laughs> Your head looks like it's been. That's a classic jersey, that one. Yeah, that's a good jersey. Look at the quads. And then uh, yeah, that was based on a Barcelona jersey. I'm really oh. big on actually, at the moment, they're allowed five jerseys. That was clubs. a good one. I liked your hair back then, Joey. Well, that was my Oasis stage. Yeah. I don't think clubs should have more than three jerseys. I think having, I think it's ridiculous. Look at what's JT pegging there. That's a good jersey. The yeah. Wizard, that is the, the, blood club. the most rankest jersey there is. Hated that one. So we, uh, the year we won the grand final, we went for the run with all white and wore all white for 10 weeks. White top, white shorts, white socks. And then the year after, 2003, we wanted to try to go all white, and the club said no. They said go back to traditional. And what so happened? I don't mind. No, we went traditional. What did you wear? Uh, three wedges. Uh, no, we wore the. When did you wear? We were white in that grand final. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we were white in that grand final. Oh, Penrith, Penrith, white with blue shorts. So you won it in, in 02. Yeah. You beat the Warriors in, yeah, the white. in all white. Well, remember because you had the blood. You, you were yep. your headbutt. Um, you guys could have kept so much sporting memorabilia. Have you kept? 
any of those jerseys? Or any? Have you got many jerseys? I've got the 2005 Origin one when I came back. Have you got it framed or? No, it's just. It's really? In, yeah. So our man Tom. Yeah. He's young bloke Jesse. Jesse Walker borrowed it last year for an Origin. Can I wear it? Yeah. Oh. He went to the pub. He came back and just stunk a piss. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been rolling around on the floor. <laughs> What'd you lend that to someone for? You got to get it framed. Emma, Emma, I haven't got any memorabilia up around there. I've got a couple of jerseys left. I've got, a, I've got an Origin jersey from 2000. Mm -hmm. And I've got a... I'm pretty sure I've got my first Test jersey. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that later, actually. Are we? That game, yeah. I actually... Well, I haven't, oh, yeah, I haven't looked at the right. I actually I've found something time. in my wardrobe yeah. today which I didn't know was there. I hurt my knee surfing yesterday, so I had some pain away. <laughs> wanted to rub some pain away into it. Now, I haven't got any pain away. No pain away. Athletic, that's a new brand, Athletic. Oh, OK. So I was looking around my wardrobe and I actually found my golden boots too. Oh, right. And one's broken. <laughs> I had no idea where they are. They're at the back, yeah. underneath the shirts. Oh, you, you have to bring it in. That'd be nice to well, be nice broken. have a couple of golden boots <laughs> stuck at the back of the wardrobe. One's broken. It's going to be <laughs> chip out of it. Uh, I hope Tom, you've got to get his Origin jersey clean. The one, the one I've got, the one thing I have got, which is on a wall, is a photo... Uh, after the World Cup in 1992, mm -hmm. where a bloke elbowed me straight in the cheek. Oh, we spoke, you told Broke my cheekbone. When you'd done the Bushman's hanky and it blew yeah. up. Yeah. And then I walked up after Mal Meninga for some reason. I don't know why. I was only young. To hold up the cup and I'm next to Mal and we're both holding it up and I've got the big broken cheekbone. Oh. And we're like, you know, all the, you know, the royalty and all that behind. Is that, that your favourite photo? That's my favourite photo. Wow. Where was that? Is that a... Wembley. Wembley. Old Wembley. And that's yeah, when the they, old Wembley. So, I remember vividly like watching those old classics in the you should, 90s. Yeah, do the You'd walk, walk up up the, up the yeah. stand yeah. and then, was like, yeah, the Prime Ministers and all sorts of was, dignitaries yeah. were there. Prince Andrew. He was there in 95. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Albert. Um, he was the school No, Andrew. He flown in, he flown in from an island. He's watching the school boys game. Oh, stop. <laughs> Has been going after him. Oh. <laughs> Jesse Walker. <laughs> this isn't online yet, is it? Did you, want to, did you want to put it on speakerphone? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Jess. Jesse. Hey, how are you? Remember you wore that Origin jersey of mine? Where'd you, where'd you go and watch the footy? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere in Bondi, maybe? <laughs> you go to the pub, yeah? Yeah, yeah, why? What's up with it? We're talking about on Freddie and the Eighth and we're on on air and you just rung up. <laughs> there he is, Jesse Walker, folks. <laughs> Probably what? the pub, mate. It had, a, it had a stain of beer down at the top of the bottom. <laughs> I did hope you, it was a beer did stain. You, did you do it proud, Jesse? Give us a rating of your night. Oh, it was, it was great. I can't hear you, Freddie, but boy, you saying how it felt wearing the jersey. Was how great. big a night was it? Oh, it was a huge night. Oh, Did you put one. anyone through any holes, Jesse, wearing the number seven? <laughs> I, I, felt a, I felt a bit embarrassed giving it back to him with a f***ing huge beer stain down it. But... Jesse, could you stop dropping the F-bomb on national television? I've got to go. I'll call you later. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That's freaky. I've got to turn that off.